Mighty. Shiver me timbers! Yo ho ho! Look alive, ye lollygaggers! I am the incredibly dead Captain Bones! I've been sailing the seven seas for an eternity, and I'll tell ya, I'm a bored stiff. The only thing that saves me from going stark raven mad is making up math puzzles using nothing but me own bones. Now watch closely, and just do as I say, or I'll surprise the life out of ye. Just watch me bones. Let me show you what I mean. Now, ye know that one and one don't come to six, but there's a way to fix her up so she makes sense. And you can do it by moving only one of me bones. Can you see how? There ain't nothing to it. Seven minus one equals six, you finger and toe counting calculator needing mathematical moron. Got the idea now, you macrame doing origami folding players with dolls? Now, try one on your own. Just let me shuffle up me bones. Does six plus three equal eleven? Course not. It equals but nine, you sachet and purse slinging Cinderellies. To fix me bones, you're to move only one, just like I showed you not a moment ago. And hands off all me other bones, you vultures. <sighs> it must be time for a clue. Only one of the numbers needs to change. Another thing, if but one number must change, then either the six or the three must get bigger, or the eleven must get smaller. Do ye follow? Here's a final hint, you rusty scuppers. The eleven is fine where she is. Ya get me? Enough already. Here's the answer, you hopscotch playing, jump rope and mincers. Six plus five equals eleven, you pirouette and tutu wearing ballerinas. Bah! I'm through with a lot of ya. I'd make you walk the plank, but I'd hate to see you get your skirt sweat.
Hey there, I'm Lens McCracken, ace photo sleuth. I cover the crime beat, even though the local cops asked me to stop. Have a seat, sweetheart. You're just in time to help me figure out the latest batch of photos. Then, when we know what all the snapshots are, I'll solve the crime using my unique talent for deductive reasoning. It was a cold and snowy day. I guess that's why they call it winter. The pond was missing. And that's why I call this case, the case of the missing pond. Check out these photo clues and see what you get. I've zoomed in way too close here, kid. Uh, I really feel like I hit a wall with this photo clue. Can you help me figure out what it is? Yikes, this close-up is downright chilling. In fact, it leaves me in a deep freeze. Got any ideas? This clue has me bristling with bewilderment. Let's figure it out so I can make a clean sweep of this case. Study them all carefully. Well, I give up. This looks like a job for my dependable darkroom computer, the Solutionator. So, here's the first close-up. Did you figure it out? It's a brick wall. Okay, play the next one on me. But we're still at just the tip of the iceberg. Cool, baby, it's ice cubes. Can you feel the excitement? Neither can I. Let's solve the final photo clues and make a clean sweep of it. It's a broom. Ah, I should have known it from the start. Now that we have all the clues, it's time I whisked off my final deduction. The Zamboni driver, you know, that guy that cleans the ice on that tractor thingy at the hockey games? Well, anyway, his Zamboni machine broke down and he had to clean the ice by hand with a broom. Well, it took the poor guy so long, the ice started to melt. He went to the store and bought ice cubes, but it still wasn't enough. The ice was melting too fast and his Zamboni machine was starting to sink into the pond. That's when the Zamboni driver had the brilliant idea to save his Zamboni machine by bricking over the pond. So where is the missing pond? Under the brick floor, of course. Another open and shut case. It's pretty simple, especially when you're a simpleton like me. Lens McCracken, Photo Snoop.